Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of uh, Strategy in 10 Minutes. Uh, thank you so much for your feedback on the first episode which was about um, keeping visible and um, boosting your business during coronavirus. Uh, today we're going to talk about personal branding, setting up a strong branding, a branding that follows you even if you change career, even if you change um, jobs, even if you change um, type of business you run. This is about creating a branding that is not just about what you do, it's about what you are and getting people to know that wherever you are things are going to be done your way. Um, personal branding is really really important because people don't just buy your product or, serv or services, they often buy you. And this is a very very important thing to remember, the fact that you are selling you yourself as a person, your morals, your values, everything that comes with you is something that people will buy together with your products or services. I'll make you a very easy example. Um, I know a lot of people who sell a specific brand of beauty products. Um, I used to buy from someone, but this someone added me on Facebook and I realized that it was she was, in my eyes, a terrible person. Then someone else, a person I really like, started selling the same products and now I use them again because for a while I stopped using the products because I didn't like the person selling them despite me really really liking the products. So personal branding is really important and it will follow you whichever enterprise you embark in. So this is really important to understand. So how to create a long-lasting personal branding? This is a very wide question but to try and uh, answer it very very shortly there is top four top rules uh, that you should adhere to um, first of all as I said is that you are your brand um, you can create the best graphic brand possible you can create a, an amazing website you can create everything you want but if you are running your own business, especially if we're not talking multinational, uh, you are the brand and you will be the brand for quite a long time till your company becomes so big that people know your product by name like Coca-Cola or Nike. Till that very moment, you are the brand. Uh, you are the event lady the marketing lady, the Instagram lady, the, the person who sells the perfume, but you are the person. Don't forget that. Uh, you need to know your products or service and their goals. Why do you want to sell these products to people? What do people get in return? You want to create an authentic story. Um, there is so many people who do marketing out, out there, so many people who do business strategies, so many people who sell perfume and sell um, beauty products. Uh, but why would people come to you? What's your story? What is going to resonate with them? It's not the fact that you do marketing. It's not the fact that you do business strategy. It's the fact that you do it your own way and that way resonates with them uh, and obviously know your audience this seems a very um, obvious thing but it's also the mistake that a lot of people make they say they know their audience but if I ask them so can you tell me what color hair have they got or have they got pets or uh, how much money do they earn a, a month or a year? No one knows the answers to this and if you don't, it means you don't know your audience. But let's go back to point number one, create a long-lasting personal brand. Number one, 
is never compromise on your values or your mission. Never ever lower yourself below your standards. Never change who you are in order to please other people. People are gonna know that you're being fake. So don't even try. Stick to you, stick to your brand, stick to your essence and this will shine through your branding and everything you do. Um, offer valuable but also relatable content. I can talk marketing till the end of the day but if I talk marketing to female founders and people with special needs I know where to hook because I am a female founder and I've met and helped so many of them during the years and I am a special needs mom and I know and I have helped quite a lot of special needs entrepreneurs so I know what it means and I can um, relate to these people I can understand them and they can understand me um, use the technology at your disposal uh, creating a brand means also telling people that the brand exists, that you exist. So that is very important and it's really needed for you to use any possible technology at your disposal. Website, social media, shout about everything you do, everything you are uh, in every possible way. Uh, and obviously be visual and vocal. It's not only about social media, it's about appearing at events, networking events, um, and all sorts of uh, other occasions where you can be heard and seen. Number two, your audience. Um, once you know what your product and service is going to be, it's really important to know who is gonna buy it, who's going to buy your products, who is going to buy your services and why. I want you to know what do they look like? Do they have pets? Do they go to the gym? Do they do yoga? Um, what restaurants do they like to go to? When they go on holiday, what do they do? Do they skydive? Do they sail? Do they go out on horse, uh, horse riding? Do they... I want to know. You need to know what these people do in their lives, in every occasion of their lives, in order to know which one of your products or your services will fit in their lifestyle. This is really important. Do take the time to um, really dig into this. It's really, really important. This is something that might take you four or five hours, depending on how many services or products you have, but it's worth the time. I promise you, the more you know your audience, the more products and services you will be able to sell them. Obviously, to do that, you need to know your products and your services. Um, products and services need to be something that solves a problem. Even if the problem is that people want to smell nice and you sell them a, a perfume or a shower gel, this is still a problem you need to know what problem are you solving. Um, once you have a product or services and you know whether they work or they don't work, if they don't work, do not be afraid to adapt. If you're selling a strawberry bath bomb and people want vanilla, give them vanilla. Don't try to convince them they want strawberry. They, want, they don't, they want vanilla. And if you don't adapt, you will die. This uh, is the same for services, this is, is the same for everything else. So another thing that you want to really take into consideration is that you want to think of your customers, not you. The fact that you like strawberry doesn't mean that every single person on the planet will. Um, and the fact that you think a certain product or service is going to work doesn't mean it will. And if it doesn't, don't hang on to it, move on, let it go give people what they want, which is not necessarily what you think they will want. Always work on the feedback you receive. 
tweak new products, tweak existing products, tweak old products so they can be brought back to life um, and make your audience happy. Last but not least, track your brand awareness. Know where you are. Know what people say about you. What are they telling the neighbors? What are they telling their friends? Are they recommending you or are they saying uh, the product was, uh, um, the service wasn't exactly what I wanted and she didn't listen to me? Um, you want these people to go out and be your ambassadors. Your clients must be your ambassadors, otherwise you're doing something wrong. Track how popular you are everywhere you're present. So social media, website, um, every single website, every single social media platform now has got amazing tracking systems. You can get so much data out of them. You can see when your people are online, what time of the day, are they male or female? How old are they? What do they do for a job? You can say, see so many things that can help you grab their attention by structuring your message around them. And this is again, this brings us again to that thing I was saying before about knowing your audience inside out. Um, be visible, check your numbers, most of all, be consistent. Your personal branding will stay strong if all your um, businesses, all your jobs, all your career moves are done following consistency. You cannot be employed somewhere where everyone is vegan, uh, trying to save the world, creating a plastic free world, and then three months later, go on to selling plastic um, and trying to destroy the Amazonian forest. It's not how it works. If your morals and your mission and your beliefs are real, they have to stay real throughout whatever you do in your business. This is really important. People are always watching. And if you swap completely from one type of person to the other type of person, they're going to be confused. They won't know whether you're real or not. And they'll leave you alone because this is not what people want. So uh, that is really it. So be consistent stick to your mission and your morals, know your audience, amend your products and services uh, according to feedback, track your brand awareness, where are you at, how many people know about you, what can you do to make more people know about you, uh, and be consistent, always. You are your brand. Let your person shine through your brand and people will follow you wherever you go. I think that's it from me for now. Um, if you want to suggest uh, any more um, topics about that I can talk about in the 10 minute strategy, if you want to give me any feedback so I can change my videos for you, um, if you want to ask me any questions, my email is fran at underwingliverpool.com. My website is www.underwingliverpool.com. Social media wise, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I am at Underwing Liverpool because consistency. Um, and you can find me on LinkedIn as Francesca Manca. I will talk to you soon and have a fabulous day. Bye.